Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. I'm Woolly Mike. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. June 1945, the Nazis have been defeated, the war against Japan goes well. But the Soviets haven't taken enough of Eastern Europe, so this is a science fiction we've scenario. We've got an for us. agreement. Well, we got an agreement, but we want more. <sighs> we want more because we think you're going to cheat us out of the agreement. So this is part of our Bar uh, our Berlin Week series of games. We're doing a kind of a, a what believe scenario. So this is a Soviet versus American 1945 late war list. Uh, using the free-for-all mission, we felt that was the yep. most appropriate. Only 75 points, though. So what have you got? Uh, so I've got a Soviet T-34 Hero Tank Company. Uh, the headquarters is over here, a single T-34 76 oh, over oh, there. there. Oh, yes, I can see him. You yes. can see him hidden yeah. behind the barn. Um, and then, so we've got a unit of T-34s, which is part of it. Some ISU-122s. Their support options. Some Stalin tanks, of course, IS-2s. We've got a Hero Rifle Company spread out across here. I've advanced deployed the BA-64s, um, which has moved my deployment zone forwards, and I've carefully measured, <clears throat> I want to leave these machine guns in the barn when I push forward with the rest of the infantry. Um, so BA-64s, T-70s. So only the, the super heavies are support options. Everything else is integral. Okay, so facing that, we're going to start with my command of two 76 Shermans. Very nice. Flanked by my heroic Bastogne paratroopers again. Mm -hmm. so we're going to sit in there and defend it. And then we have four 76 mil Shermans and four 76 mil Shermans. Very so nice. all the tanks are the force and the infantry are the support option. Very nice. Okay, well, let's see if the Soviet heavier uh, <laughs> tanks can do the job. And turn one to you, sir. Thank you. Turn one then. Sovietskis to go first. Uh, I don't have any kind of uh, off-table stuff to deal with, do I? So yep, no reinforcements. Phase. It's all on the table. It's all on the table. So I count as moving anyway, so I might as well move. So let's move. Uh, actually, they've probably got a 10 inch tactical move, haven't they? So I'll move a bit further. And if I measure this one 10, yeah, that's right. There we go. They've moved over there. The ISUs will move up. Let's not have a funny angle there. And the Stalin tanks, so we'll move to the edge of the cornfield. So these are uh, concealment through the wheat fields, yep. is, is what we're dealing with. Uh, my command tank is going to stay where it is. They're going to stay where they are. Ooh, so we are just at the, the, the plus 16 inch range here. So I think for the moment, I am going to, my infantry is already dug in. The question is whether I'm going to risk moving it forwards. I'm going to stay in my foxholes for now and I'm going to find a marker that says that. And I am going to also go to ground with my light vehicles. So everybody over here has gone, is not shooting. Yeah, and your two machine guns are actually in the barn. Yes. But we'll leave them in the front so we can remember that they're Yes, there. absolutely. Yep. Otherwise we will completely forget. All right, so we do the shootings. Yep. Using these lovely, these are actually the Team Yankee Soviet dice, but you know, it's hammers, sickles, yep. and stars. Yeah. So I feel it's all legit. <laughs> um, so you know, we'll start over here. The two Stalin tanks are going to fire at the unit straight ahead of them. Yep. So you're hit on fours. Yep. And that uh, IS2 late has got brutal and slow firing. So the slow firing uh, is plus one to hit. Yep. And are you over 16? Yep. I'm guessing that you are. And yep. long range. And long range. So that's six hits. Yep. There's a hit. The anti-tank rating of the IS-2 is 14. Seven. Right. Uh, and the firepower is two up. 
Boom! The ISU 122s have got the same gun. Yep. Okay. No sixes there. And then the T-34s, I think, can't all draw a bead over there. So they better fire straight ahead. So that is, I'm firing through the concealment here. Yep. Are you within 16? Yes, you are. So that is just fives then for concealment, right? Yep. No oh, hits. Oh, boo. That was upsetting. I think that's everything. That's the end of my round one. Right, we'll start over with the two command tanks. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to shoot you all at dinky armoured cars. Okay, so they're concealed and gone to ground and at long range, but they yep. are hit on probably threes basic. Let's have a look. They're careful, so that's sevens. Yep. Two the shots in. The T-70s are aggressive. They're easy yep. to hit. There's a six. Nope. No. Okay. Out of range for the machine guns. Yeah, so... Three tanks at the IS-2s. You want to shoot at the IS-2s. They've got a front armour of 11. Yeah, I've got firepower 12. Yep. <laughs> so I've got an armour of 12 because we said it was over 16, right? Yeah. So you can't, you can't penetrate. I'm you sorry, can't no, the IS-2s. Like, the IS-2s you can't penetrate. Oh, right. These have got a front armour of 9. If you want to shoot at okay, these, well, so the ISU-122s, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you literally can't affect these at this range. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, they are ISU-122, they're aggressive, hit on threes, they are concealed and at long range fives. Two hits. Two hits indeed. Uh, now my armour is... 9 plus, oh, plus 1 for range 10 and dice 12 and 14. Yeah. When your anti tank is 12. 12. So that's a glance. Yep. Yeah. So do you want to roll to bail? You have bailed me out. Bailed out. And then we're going to finish off with four Sherman stationery. Yeah. At your T-34s. Uh, are you, so are we within 16? I think you, you, you had 16 when you, you measured it. Did I? Yeah. 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 Uh, so it's just threes, concealment fours. Cocked. Oh, that doesn't feel great. Six hits. Six hits. Okay, so where, where do you want to put them? Uh, we'll go two each, one each. Okay, so this tank, a five and a six, so that's an, a five plus six is 11. 12 firepower. 12, so one glanced, one went through. So do you want to see if you destroy him? First shot? No. Nope. Nope. And do you bail him out with this one? Yes. Yes. So that's a double bail, so he has to make a remount test. Yep. Which he fails, so he... Runs. Does he run off the table with that one? Or does he dynamite the tank? I think they dynamite the tank. Yes, they do, yeah. Because they bailed, they've... The, the, the crew have cheesed it. Yeah. All right. Now, I've actually had a cheeky T-34 turret over there, so I'm going to swap <laughs> it because it's going to bug me. Although that may be a bit premature. So yeah. this one is out. Yep. Yep. Next. Oh, this is all me to do, isn't this, it? This is your, do, your to do. Okay. Uh, same again. So do you want to roll for the penetration? No. Nope. No. Ooh. Ooh yeah, that's, so that's a double bail, right? That's a double bail. And my remount is four plus. I Good. don't remount, so that one runs as well. <laughs> then this one's our armor check. Uh, so it pens. That's Boom. a bail. And this one's... Armor check is not a six, so that's roll for destruction. Boom. Boom. So that one's bailed out. Yep. Everybody else has been destroyed. Yeah. Okay. So oh, you get to be the commander. 
a new lot of all left in. Wow. Okay. I've not played Russians before. No. Um, so that uh, that took me rather by surprise. Uh, get some smoke on there. All right. There you go. Did you enjoy that, Mike? I did. I'm quite pleased with that. And I've seen, seen a lot of fire on the other side of the board this time. Yeah, absolutely. Whoops. Anything else to do while I do this? No, that's fired, fired, fired. Righty ho. Well, round two, that wasn't the greatest first round for the Soviets. I gotta say, I killed one Yankee tank and I lost three Soviet tanks, potentially a whole platoon. Yeah. Uh, this guy is pinned down. So first of all, he rolls to remount, which he succeeds at, but he's also now in poor standing. So he's gonna roll to see if he uh, fails his last stand check, which he doesn't. Ooh. The red star of Stalin is gonna keep him, keep him in the mood. Yep. Keep him in the mood. Oh, I have to remount this as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Which I do. Okay. Uh, no reserves or reinforcements. Movement time. The gun on the T-70s has got an anti-tank rating of 7. Uh, that's not going to do anything, is it? Front armor 7. Front armor is 7. So the question is, though, if I don't do something, what are you going to fire at otherwise? So I am going to roll these guys up. They're going to make their cross-country move here. So they are not gone to ground. That's their movement. Uh, and I am not going to... You're not going to make the same mistake that this idiot did. I think he needs to fire before he's dead. So... Is my infantry going to come out of its foxholes and stuff? Because I think if we do this, we all need to go together. So I think, I think we will. All right. So the armored cars are going to move up as well. Let's do that. But they're not going to move up that far because they don't want to be hit by bazookas. Which, which guys have got bazookas? Bazookas there and there, just in the gaps between the two standard trees. Cool. Okay. So I've moved within 16, but not within 8. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, okay. These guys. Now then. This was over 16. This was under 16, yep. was it? I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Actually, no, no, those, it was only these were 16, they were all long. Were they? Yeah. But that slow firing thing is a real pain, and I only get one shot a turn <coughs> either way. So I think they're going to stand still. I think they're going to have to. Uh, and I think the command tank is going to have to chip in over here as well. So it's going to make a tactical move to there. Okay, and I'm pretty sure in this game you can fire over stationary infantry. Yeah. But not moving infantry. All right, shooting phase then. Uh, so this, S, this T-34 is going to fire across. And the ones a miss, it's fours firing through the concealment fives. Five. Yep. So that's a miss. Here then, these two firing across there. That is... Fours firing through concealment fives, right? Yep. No hits. They're doff. And then the IS-2s, same. But they've not got the concealment, so fours, right? Yep. One hit. Goes through. Uh, I've got 14. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And blows you up. Boom. Right, these sheen guns are firing. So they are not gone to ground. And the range of infantry MG teams is 24. So do they? Yep. They're shooting over there. So I get six dice per maxim team, I think. And you are concealed and gone to ground, so I hit you on sixes. And you are at long range, so I hit you on sevens. Yeah. Are you at long range? So 16 is there, so yes you are. Yeah. 
So that was three potential hits. Five ups to score hits. One hit. But you have um, bulletproof cover. So, well, you can roll your infantry save, I guess. Which you fail. And then the bulletproof cover. Ooh. I think it's six, though. Maxim is a six. So, yeah. nope, you're good. Then... This infantry, is it is it not within 16? I don't think it can be because of the way the game started. Yeah. I don't think it can be. Um, so the DP guns on the VA-64s have a moving rate of fire of three. They're not got the, um, uh, they've not got the range penalty, so that's just sixes for them, right? Yep. That's two hits, so that's your third hit. And do you want to make your infantry saves? One hit. Two. No. And five power check, nope. Uh, and then the T-70s. So I pinned. Not yet, you've only had three hits. Oh, is it that's free? So, oh, sorry, it. yes, it's free. I'm not up yeah. to five yet. The T-70s. Have got three shots each with machine guns. So here they go. That's another three hits, so that is a pin down. Once they failed, lucky six. No. That's my uh, turn almost over. The T34 can't fire through the armored car in front of it. All right, end of my round two. Right, what am I going to do in two? <laughs> so these are going to make a tactical move this way. So we got. Oops, so no. You're going to you're going to cross. What's your cross check? Uh, three plus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, command tank. No. Nope. One gets over. And the commander's behind him. Yeah. So keep, keep our noses to the big stuff. We'll start with these two. Okay. Shooting the T-70s. Shooting the T-70s. The T-70s are aggressive hit on threes. They're in concealment and you have the stabilizer yeah. rule. So that's fives. One hit. One hit, okay. I'm sure you penetrate, make a five power check. Ooh. It bails out. We're accurate, but we're not putting people out of their tanks. Right, two, four, six, eight. Your lone T-34. So it's concealed and stabilizer, so, but I'm aggressive, so fives. Two. Two hits, uh, make two armor checks, looking for a pair of sixes. Nope, two fire power checks. Bang, bang. Boom. He gone. And the two command tanks at the T-70s. At the... They didn't already do something, right? No, they kind of worked that way. Yeah, then, okay, then, fine. And then... Uh, that'll be three hits, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, they're not long range. And you didn't move. And I moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was probably just fours. Yeah. Okay. Three hits. Okay. Uh, five power checks. You'll go straight through. Two booms. And you can see two. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Well, as we go into round three, I'm a bit nervous because in terms of my mainline morale, my T-34s are out and I've got only my HQ, my infantry and one T-70. Uh, so uh, my force morale is getting quite iffy. Yep. So I'm going to roll for that T-70, see if it builds back in, which it did. Yep. And then I'm going to make a last stand check for it because he's on his own. Which it is okay for the motherland and all that. 
Yeah. So that T70 is, oh no, the BA64s are part of my core force as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it's the fact that Commissar and there's, there's a T34 behind it probably persuaded him to. Mm. Okay, so in my movement phase. So in my movement phase, I need to win. These two have still got a clear line over there. These two don't have a clear line. So this tank is going to move here. Yep. Like that. In fact, it's going to make a tenuous tactical move, so it's going to move to there. And the cross. Sorry? The cross here for the hedge. Cross here for the hedge, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, that one, because he's still within six. Not quite, so I'll position him slightly awkwardly. Yeah. Uh, to be within six, so he's within command. These... Are... Okay, both of these are going to move then, in order to make that work. All right, so yeah. they're, they're going to move like that. These are then going to stay where they are. Those guys are going to get on, on the back in a minute. So they're not, they're going to do... Oh, do they try and blitz? They're not very good though. They've got uh, tactics of four up. But if they move, they have the slow firing rule. I'm going to try and blitz. They You're fail not. it. <coughs> so they are going to move all the way back to here. And they've got even worse firing because they failed the blitz order. Yep. Uh, I think the T70 needs to do that. And the BA64s are going to make, what's their cross country dash? BA64, cross country only 10. So how far can you get? You can get to here. And you can get to here. Yeah, all right. And the T-34 is going to cheese it back to <laughs> his little <laughs> bolt hole. And I think that's probably it. All right. That's it. That's it. So as I do my shooting, I will start over here. So 12 machine guns into your infantry. What are you looking for? Well, you've got two, two vehicles that have come across, so, but you've still got enough. Oh, I see. Uh, I need sixes, right? That was a yep. cock dice. One, two, three. Yep. Is it just sixes? Concealed gun to ground? Yep. And foxholes. No, that's... That's later. Yeah. Was it over 16? Was it sevens? It was over 16, so yes, sevens. It, yeah. Okay. Uh, we got another one. Infantry save. You make it. <coughs> okay. These two are firing at the command vehicles. He's not, because you've got a tank in the way. Okay, he'll fire at that one. This one over there. Four, that's going to miss. Yep. Okay, this one over there, that's a cock dice, four, but I have slow firing, and you've got concealment, so that's yep. a miss. These are even worse. <laughs> the <coughs> fire at that guy, I'm sure it's seven. What's their range? Their miss. They weren't going to hit, Mike. <laughs> okay. I, I think it's 28, if that really matters. I think yeah. the fact that they needed at least seven yeah. was more. So you're, you're, you're pop gunning this to the side of my... My pop gun into the side of you looking for a four. That's a hit. And that is an uh, anti-tank power of T-77. Oh, I'm overworked though. So I was even worse to hit. 
Yeah, but I've got a six, yeah. so I'm okay. So side armor is four. Come on, come on, come on! Up to seven. Up to seven. So that's firepower check to bail. It's only a five up. Firepower, build ya! Right. Responses. Responses, it's your turn three. Pinned and a bailed. So to unpin, three plus. Uh, you, it's whatever your motivation yeah. number is. Yeah. Is it three? It's not four, is it? The one on the other side, I think. No, motivation, top left. Yeah, threes. Threes. Yeah, I've rolled a five, so yeah, they're back in the game. And a remount. Yep. So. What have we got? Mm. So, you want to know how many of those can fire? That one definitely can. And hang on, hang on. That one can as well. Yep. So, so what do we see here? This? Yeah. These? Probably this. I can't hit the front of that armor, so... You cannot. Well, you can hit it. Yeah. And like out of range of machine guns. I think they're out of range of machine guns on these as well, aren't they? With you more than 16. Side armor in those is probably. Uh, I think side is okay. They've got a side armor of one. Yeah. They don't have top armor. Right. That's a zero. Well, as it's the only target, they're gonna pop. All four? Okay, so it's careful and it's over 16, yep. so that's fives. Three hits. Three hits. Uh, I think you just made five power checks. Yeah. Yeah, all three. Well, you can only see one yeah. of them. So it's dead. So, two bazookas into your T70. Right. Okay, so you know in doing that, you're no longer stationary, and you're no longer gone to ground. For that, I, I can target that model yeah. and shoot everybody in the unit. Yeah. So I'll shoot with the tanks first then. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Yeah. So, two shots, looking for threes, two hits, fire power checks. Boom. Boom. Um, he's going to take the other armoured cars. Sorry, who what? Him, the other armoured cars. Okay, well, one of them. Yeah. So, you moved, you've got cover, and you have a gung-ho roll. Right? Yeah. So, let's just look at that again. The BA-64 needs a four. There's cover between his five, and you've got the... Not the gung-ho roll, what's it called? Stabiliser. Stabiliser. Did you move? Not this turn, no. You didn't move. So that's five then, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm looking for another modifier. Okay, <laughs> make a five-power check, because you go straight through his armor. Boom, boom. Yeah, okay. So. I'm sure we're long range here, does anybody? No, I don't think so. Oh, they're all in 16, right. So, six shots, so stabiliser roll. in at the IS-2, which is hit on fours, stabiliser five, concealment six, but not long range but not for long anybody. Range. None of the three tanks. None of the three tanks are at long. So six as it is. 
There's no hits there. No hits there. Gosh, I needed that. The infantry have stayed, so we've come back. So that's the end of turn three. Boom. Well, here we are in round four. A lot of Soviet destroyed vehicles. Four here, three more here, three more there. Soviet cohesion, pretty poor. Two core units that are okay, the commander and the infantry. One armoured car in the core force. But it's got to make a morale check. Yeah. What about the American side? They've lost some tanks, but not many. Yeah, we've managed to get some side shots into your Joseph Stalin, but no effect. We've held off the little blitz move here. The infantry still dug in. And my two command tanks on the flank as well. Ready for turn four. Ready for turn four. Soviet round four. It's a big one. So it's going to start with me hoping that this guy can make his force morale. Which on a three, fearless mate. Boom. Ooh. He's got it. Now, there's such a thing as a road dash for 20 inches. And if you're paying careful attention, you'll see that your objective is over there. Yeah. So on that 20 inch move, he's going to get him down the road quite comfortably. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get him there. And that's important insofar as whether these can see him very well. Yeah. And whether he lives through next turn. All right. So let me just double check that. It's definitely only 20. Road dash 20. Yes. Okay. Right, because that could win me the game, if yep. you're an idiot. <laughs> Are you an idiot, Mike? <laughs> the, the, the jury's out. The jury is out, yep. okay. Ah. So. What to do, what to do. I think I have to back up here. Does the IS-2 have the 10 inch tactical? It does. That's going to get me to there. You're backing it. Oh no, there's a gap in the hedge you can... Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'll move a bit more like that. No, no, I can, I can see, I can see down there. The question is whether I want the concealment between us and I think I do. Uh, so I'm overworked, it's long range. Yeah, there you go. Right, so, uh, yet again, then in the shootings, shootings phase, my machine guns are going to fire yep. over there. Looking for sixes, there's four of them. Going to make four saves? It's sevens, because it's long range. Long range, concealed, gone to ground, sevens. It's sevens. Yep, one. And you're fine. Yep. Right, the two IS-2s so are firing, so... Uh, could that one see? Yeah, he gets the... Uh, oh. Only just. <laughs> nice little parade line there. Okay. Um, so your fours, concealed five, overworked. Not overworked, slow firing. Yeah. Six. No sixes there. These two are going to fire over there. Long range, cover, sixes. Nope. And that is my measly turn, sir. But I do leave you with a conundrum, I think. Yeah. Right, so no recoveries or anything like that. So this tank's going to come out onto the road and he's going to try and follow him with a cross here. Okay. Not with a, cro with a cross here, so you're not shooting? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. With a cross check. Yeah. So he's going to move... Is he the commander? Yep. Okay, so he can do that. And then he's going to follow up. With... Yep. Yep. It's a six, he's going to follow up, no trouble. <laughs> now, 10 machine gun shots. Can I, can I hurt him if I machine gun him? It's an armoured vehicle, so you would need to make firepower checks yeah. even if you succeeded, and they're six only. So, 
four main Are guns. Are you not doing any other movement? Uh, no, they're going to stay, they're going to stay. Although, really, we, we need some insurance, don't we? So what we're going to do is nudge back out of the sight of that IS tool. Mm -hmm. But while still, and the trees will give me some protection. So it's overkill on one little armoured car. Uh, so, well, the only things you can shoot at is that armoured car, so you might as well roll all 12 dice. Yeah. Because they're all on the set. Oh, no. That one isn't shooting across cover. Yeah. So do that one first. He's got two shots. He's an American. Oh, so, yeah. You, oh, you go through the armor with that one hit. Yep. So fire power check. You blow it up. Ooh. There you go. And that was that. <laughs> Turn five, sir. Turn five it is. Turn five, Sovietski. Okay, I can't see all the things. They can shoot with those guys over there, but it's long range and cover sixes. These guys can see those over there, and it's long range fives. Think that's all I'm doing? So, long range fives. No hits. Ooh. Pair of ones. I don't think I'll reroll those. Here, long range sixes. There's a hit. It's in the rear. I'm sure it goes right through. One armor. Uh, no, sorry. Side and rear is four. Yeah, mine. So yeah, 14 or something. Fire power check. Kaboom! This one. All right. Let's do a quick. Do a quick swap so we don't lose the commander. Yeah. Very nice. All right, that's me done. Okay, so how... I didn't do these machine guns, but I'm not gonna, because I rolled the millions of dice. Yeah. What do I need to get sevens? Yeah. Uh, I should I should just keep doing it though, shouldn't I? Oh, there is one. <laughs> Infantry save. No, you failed it. Come on, give me the six. Oh, boo. <laughs> right. So, first of all, we got... Yes, bravery test for that chap. Yeah. Motivation. He's going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you have two elements in good standing. Yep. I'm just... So... Cross country dash of 18 inches. 18 or? Yep, yeah, 18. Okay. Right. So hopefully we'll be able to chuck some machine guns in at you with those. Well, rolling in for fabulous five pound six dice and everything. <laughs> you see how effective it was for yeah. me. So they're going to stay where they are for the moment because they're out of sight. So 30 cal and 50 cal machine guns. Okay, so the 50 cal need rolling separately because yep. they have different firepower numbers. So it's six 50 cals and four 30 cals. That's right. Yep. So my infantry is aggressive, hit on threes, it's concealed and gone to ground fives. And you're firing through cover sixes. So one hit with the regular 30 cal, which I save. Yeah. Okay. Round six then, is it? Yep. Round six, Sovietsky round six. Woo, should have paid for the PTRDs or something over there. <laughs> hmm. So the question is, can these guys see those? I think you're gonna get cover from the wrecks. 
So you get cover from, but, but you're in the field anyway, you get yeah. concealment from the wreck, so I can take shots there. What about these guys? Presumably they can't see. They're fixed forward, aren't they? So Yeah. Yeah, that means that's like that, though, Mike. That's oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so what about this one? It's got a shot? Yeah. Okay. And that, But that one doesn't? Yeah. Because I'm out of vehicle. Okay. Fine. So... It's all the same gun. Oh, but it's only got it's 28 inches. We might actually be out of range. And I need to decide this before I do anything. Yep, it's going to shoot. 28 inches. Thunk. There we go. Okay. So these two firing over there. So it's covering long range sixes, right? Yep. No. End of my round six. <laughs> it's not in good standing. It needs to roll. Yes. It's still around. I thought it would help you be more decisive. Yeah. It's like, do this. Ah, yes. Yeah. Then what next? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> They're in the building, they're still dug in. Got their heads buried. Road dash to there. Okay. You know, uh, didn't he road dash to here? That was previous turn. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you move within four, you trigger an assault. Yeah. You may be within six. I don't I don't know whether you wanted to leave them where they were. I, I mean, I can check the assault right, rules, well but I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that. Well, they'll come out onto the road then and start moving towards... Yeah. Yeah. You can try flanking my maneuver with those. Right. Okay. So machine guns again. Okay, so it's sixes still. Yeah. And then the other ones had a road dash. They're in cover. The infantry are staying where they are. End of turn. These don't block anything. Rex don't Rex are not gonna do anything other than provide cover. They're just they're Yeah, no, no, they're cover, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you're already in hedgerows. Yeah. So for example, these two could have fired. Right, okay. But well, I forgot so. Okay. Yep. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I'm I'm happy to move into turn seven. Turn seven? We don't have a big enough dice for turn seven, Mike. Yeah. Alright, so uh you got to stand still because I've got things to shoot at, things to shoot at, things to shoot at, things to shoot at. Nothing improves by me moving. So these two are firing over there. And, oh, well, let's see. This one, are we within 16? No, this one's going to have to shoot across cover, or this one isn't. So they are different. This one's shooting across cover, so that's fives. Nope, and this one's shooting in the clear, so that's fours. Yes, there's a beautiful hit. It goes straight through, I'm sure. Yep, seven front. Uh, maybe not, because it's long range. So your front is up to eight, eight. and my anti-tank is 14. So if you roll a six, I get a glance. Nope. No, roll to destroy. Boom. Kick. Ooh. Two. Need some more fire fluff over yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure your commander's always in good spirits. Yeah. So that's those two fired. Now these two have to fire. These guys are concealed. So, but it's within 16. 
So that is just fives, right? Yep. Here we go. No fives. And my machine guns do not fire. Uh, this guy needs to shoot the tank in front of him. Here we go. Two shots. One hit. Anti-tank rating of the T-3485 is 12. Does it so go through? Nine total. And that is a build out. Uh, so, in which case, I need to assault him then, don't I? I'm going to assault with all of these teams that are within four inches. And got into base contact. Charge into contact. Mike doesn't get defensive fire. Because I'm bailed out. Because he's bailed out. I could shoot before I attack, but I can't penetrate him. So, sneaking up on tanks. A tank team cannot come uh, Yeah, okay. So, when I'm not forced to fall back from defensive fire, I'm going to roll to hit. So, I have got an assault score of 2 plus with 1, 2, 3 bases. They're the regular bases. The machine guns only have a four up. All right? Yep. So the three, the two ups, I get two hits and another hit. So three hits. One hit's going against an armor team. Anti tank rating, you can use hand grenades, uh, anti tank rating of two. And firepower of one plus against tanks top armor. What's your top armor? One. One. So I find out whether I destroy it, and then you lose anyway because yes. you bailed out. So I'm bailed. I've destroyed. Uh, well, so now I'm now I need to make um, anti-tank checks for this. Yep. Um, so this is a bit odd because when we get to a later step, I think you're going to lose because you you yeah. bailed out anyway and you can't fight back. But do I? Breakthrough. So I've only got an anti-tank rating of two. Oh, you know, you roll this bit. Yeah. You roll this bit, don't you? And I've got a top armor of one. Uh, so I don't penetrate. No. Nope. But then in the in, in the closing step, all of your vehicles are bailed out or whatever. Yeah. Um, so you must break off, but you can't move through me, so you're destroyed. Yes. All right. Yep. There we go. Boom. <laughs> we took out another one. And I get to re to, and I get to return to my foxholes, which was the thing that was quite important to me here. In doing this, yeah, was it wasn't going to cost me um, my defensive position because without my foxholes, you could start murdering me. Yeah, if you just stayed there, then on. Uh, but that was that the end of my turn. I think that was yes. the end of my turn. Yes. You fired with those and missed. You fired with those and missed. So it's your turn seven. Yeah. So that's bailed out. It's not there anymore. Nope. Indeed. So oh. he's just going to take a little shuffle move and come and park there. And these guys. Uh, people ask us from time to time, where, where does all this fire stuff come from? This stuff, uh, these asbestos fibers or whatever they are. With every bolt action vehicle that I've ever bought, you get a little baggie with a little bit of smoke fluff. And the starter sets. And do the starter sets come with them? Well, I think it's because they're vehicles. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, did you do... Uh, in terms of good spirits, I've your HQ's okay. And that unit. And that unit, right, okay. Yeah. So we're going to be three and two in the infantry with the MGs on the command tank. Okay. There's One. a six there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a hit. Yep. And that's a failed infantry save, so you need a firepower check to get through my bulletproof cover. Through? No. That's not through. 
You don't have a four up firepower on any machine gun in the world. <laughs> Sorry, uh, machine guns, no. I'm, I'm getting you need over to be 50 mil or over yeah. to get that, I think. Okay. Not 50 cal, 50 yeah. mil. Okay, so the tank's over there. Yes. Two into the side of the. You're not in the side. This IS2. This IS2. Ah. Okay. So you're over 16. So you're on. The IS2s are hit on. Uh, on hit on fours, I think. Yeah, that's four yeah. long range, five cover, six stabilizer, seven. Yeah, and okay. then the, the other f two tanks are going in. Shooting it. here. Yeah. Okay, so, so these this... on sevens? No. And these on. F on well, that's very different because uh, this is hit on threes to start with and it's not over 16. So that's just fours. Uh, stabilizer fives. Two. Two hits, but you're going to see one. So, yeah. both hits go on there. This is front armor of nine, and your anti tank rating is 12. Okay, I'm okay. Nine up to 13, and nine up to 15. Doing, doing. Well, we're going into round eight. The thing is, both of us are still in with a chance, so we're going to keep going. Both of our force morale is quite brittle. Mike Scott is. Tank commander over here, and if he loses that, his formation morale breaks. Yep. My tank commander is over here, and if I lose him, my formation morale will break as well. But I've got a whole infantry platoon, so it's really yep. only my command tank. In Mike's case, he's got this flank, these T7, um, M476s over here on the flank. They, if they win this firefight, they can claim the objective and win the game. But if they lose this firefight, they're the other unit of part of his core morale. So there's still everything to play for down here, is the thing. Yep. Up there, maybe not. Down here, everything. And being the American, it's guts or glory. Guts or glory. I need to decide what I'm doing. In my command phase, my formation of morale is okay. Uh, these guys, they don't move. Then I come to over here. So, I am going to try and blitz move the ISU-122s. On a three, they have a skill rating of... Trained four, so they fail it. They pull back to here. Okay. Yep. And they've failed their blitz. The IS-2s have a veteran skill rating. And they're going to try and blitz as well. Which they succeed. So this one is going to blitz like this. And this one is going to blitz. Oh. In fact, I'm going to be braver. I'm going to do that. And this one is then going to move to here to take an unimpeded shot at that one. Yep. Because that's kind of for the game. Right, I'm going to stop firing my machine guns because I think they're irrelevant. I'm going to take my shot over there, looking to hit on a four. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to take my shot here, looking to hit on a four. Uh, five, sorry. Yep. Because there's there's cover involved. Oh, check the range. It's over 16. Oh. It's a miss. And then these two. It's cover, failed blitz. So that's sixes. No hits. And that's the end of my turn eight. Right. I'm going to move to there. Okay. Because I've got a side shot on your IS-2. You can move there and take a side shot on my IS-2, yeah. Yeah. These guys are going to go, if you could move the first guy, and everybody's going to conga line along beside them. Thank you. Okay. So. Oh, you've got a stray dice over here. Okay. 
So this side shot into that IS. Side shot into there. So it is probably over 16. Yes. But maybe not. It's over 16. So it's this is hit on fours. Concealment five. Long range six. Stabilizer seven. Yeah. Look. And then two, four, six. So this is just fives because they hit on threes. Yeah. And then you've got um, you've got stabilizer and concealment to yeah. you to fives. So eight shots. Eight shots. One hit. Okay. Which one do you want? Uh, nearest one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, armor. Four plus nine is thirteen. So yeah, twelve. Doink. And that concludes. Turn eight. So we're on to turn nine. We are now on to turn nine. All right. Turn nine. Turn nine. Well, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to come out to take my shot. Yep. Okay. So, from over here. Do we give a I think you might. Yeah, yep. you do. So, it's just fours? Yeah. No. <laughs> here, it's just fours. Oh, here, it's fives because I'm firing across cover. No. These two shooting there is just fours. One hit. I think it probably goes through, but you can roll, see if you get a six. I've got a 14. No, you didn't need to no. roll, did you? What have 13. you got? Six, six plus seven. ISU 14. Yep. Yeah. Two up. Yes. Only just. Yep. Okay. I will take this one out. Put some smoke upon it. End of your turn. End of my turn, nine. Now, if you'd be so kind, those are going to all go start going around the back of the trees, but keeping their noses pointing at... Because you're in the tree, so I can shoot you. So, you don't want to be going any closer without assaulting. Yeah, I, I want to get as close as I can to get the side shot and then move. Okay. So I'm not sure about tanks assaulting tanks. I don't think we do, do we? It's a... Well, it's, it's called ramming, I think. Yeah. So. so, we'll start with my command tank on your command tank. Yes. So, it's fives. Uh, is it fives or is it fours? It's fours. One hit. My armour. You go through... And you Boom. pass, and that means I fail force morale, and thank you for the game, sir. <laughs> thank you. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. So took a big chance on turn nine, everybody pushed in with a chance to take him out. Couldn't seem to make a four-up roll anywhere. Out of three dice, the, the, the RNG gods hated me today, and that broke my force morale. Mike's tanks definitely were coming up around here, but I don't think he was ever going to be able to deal with the ISUs. No. I, re I regret that. I felt the numbers yeah. were, were on my side, but it just didn't play out. I have to say, in, in hindsight, those big guns, they just didn't roll for you. You had lots of dice rolls for your big guns and no damage. And whereas you got a lot of dice. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, the ones yeah. that brought the dice were the T-34s that they died yeah. super <laughs> early. I mean, forget how bad that being hit on three gig You, you made the nice little run with your, your lone little tank. That man was a hero of the Soviet yeah. Union. Got yeah. a badge and everything. So yeah, yeah. My, my force in ignominy uh, retreats from the table and the war will rage on. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.